Hi everyone, I'm all about the Florida Keys and we're here at the Robert is Here food stand in Homestead and it's not directly in the Keys but it is just before you get to the Keys it's on the outskirts of Homestead it's a great place to stop either on your way in or out of the Keys and it's also a great place to stop uh, if you go out to the alligator farm it's the alligator farm is very close uh, to there and a lot of people stop right after the alligator farm so um, stay tuned and I'll, I'll show you just a, a bit about uh, the famous Robert is here fruit stand and uh, you even get to have a short uh, impromptu interview with Robert himself so stay tuned So they have their famous fresh fruit shakes, smoothies, however you want to look at it. And they have all kinds of gourmet local stuff like the gourmet local uh, honey, um, all kinds of organic fruits and vegetables. Robert is here. So nice that she comes in and does this for me. But I'm <laughs> um, here almost all the time. I open it about. 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. It's not, not open up lower. Not We're not open at that hour, but I'm here straightening up, getting ready for the day. And, um, and then we close at about 7 in the evening. Okay. And it could be later if we're real busy. My wife gets mad at me, but I stay for people. Yeah. A little bit lower. Yeah. And I was telling him last time I was here, I thought it was, uh, it was like lucky because he served me himself and he even threw in an extra vegetable or something. And I was like... Oh my gosh, this is the Robert himself serving me. This is like so cool. And I thought, what are the chances? And here he is. He does it. It's, this is not, this is commonplace if, if, for him. If you would have been uh, three weeks ago, my wife and I left for our anniversary trip. And we took off on our Harley and went up to North Carolina. And then we got back a week ago today. Those two weeks I was gone. Uh, but uh, generally I'm here all the time. I usually take Thursdays off, but I never do take Thursdays off. It's just my day off, but I come in mm -hmm. and work anyway. Well, you're really quite the entrepreneur. This yeah, is an amazing well, place, and uh, I'll fill them in on the story, the backstory somewhere absolutely. in the brochures and whatever. When you come back again, hopefully within three or four months, I'm going to have another video opportunity. Ah. It's, we're building a back porch from an old country cabin, like up in the mountains, uh -huh. and it's going to be all for... Ah. Photo ops. Oh wow, yeah, nice! Just walk up and there'll be old antique this and antique that junk. For people to come and get uh, lots of pictures and have fun. I hope so. We do it out. They do anyway out there. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you. for talking to me, Thank talking you. to the folks out there. Bye bye. other shopping needs so pick them up while you're shopping for the other fun stuff.
some fun little snacks over here for the kids and some decent prices. Some of the other conveniently placed snacks. If uh, some kids are finicky, so you got to have this nearby, all the yummy gourmet stuff. Oh, are those the coconut patties? I I have gotten those here before. I love those. <laughs> I'm gonna order my shake. Take a minute to figure out what I want. What did you get there? What, what did you get? Mango. Is it mango? Mango peach. Orange. Mango peach and orange. And wow, look at that. Doesn't that look super yummy? Yeah, she's like the other. Yeah, that's enough for two people. But this one's a milkshake, they have a smoothie too. It's a milkshake, they have smoothies too. Okay, check this out. We've got, it says a taste of handcrafted moment. Uh, fruitique. So we got these yummy uh, little fruit frozen things. Let's see, got all kinds of yummy flavors here. We got the mango, the mamey, chocolate, we got the chocolate. Some people don't like fruit, they gotta have the chocolate. I have to say I love fruit, but uh, I would probably still most of the time go for chocolate. So I'm headed out, I just headed out the back door. There's some pottery over here and some plants. And I have, I had, I'm embarrassed to say, but I've actually, I've been here maybe two, three times, and uh, I have never uh, been back here. Look, we got some fun things here. Oh, we'll get this for sale. <laughs> and then, uh, look at this old tractor. It's fun, fun for uh, pictures. And, oh, we got a plane over here. Oh, another tr couple tractors. And some birds, it looks like some aviary type cages. Uh, this is a really fun family stop. You would really be remiss to not stop here, either on your way into the Keys or out of the Keys. It's, a, it's perfect for uh, if you're going to go to the alligator farm. It's just right on the way. And even though the alligator farm and uh, Robert is here, it is not exactly directly in the Florida Keys, it's close enough. And uh, uh, as Keysians, we we pretty much uh, include the alligator farm and uh, Robert is here when we talk to locals or tourists about um, the things to do. They say, oh, you know, it's on your way in. You should really stop and you got to check out Robert is here and maybe the alligator farm. This plane's really cool. Robert is here has got a really great backstory, um, and I will talk about that in the description. Uh, it's on a like a little brochure, and I know the story, but I don't. I might get a fact or two wrong, so I want to uh, just reread it uh, and either just put it in the description or come back and uh, talk about it once I've refreshed my memory. Uh, I mean, I know it, but I just don't want to get a fact wrong. I've done that before in the past, and it's kind of embarrassing. Get this uh, nice little farm area. So this is, this is a, such a nice, great family place, and, and you don't even have to be a family. It's just this really to enjoy this place. Look at all the fun animals. The kids will just have a blast here. Look at that. Ah, goats. This cute thing over here. Uh, this goats are playing King of the Mountain. <laughs> and so they've and they've got a little playground over here for your 
for your uh, toddlers and smaller children. This is like, uh, it's, it's definitely like its own event or activity in and of itself. You know, you could spend easy an hour here and maybe even two hours. Yeah. You go shopping for maybe almost an hour inside and get your shake and you come out here in this nice shady area, let the kids play and you eat your snacks and your, your shake and just enjoy, relax. Let's see what we've got here. Look at all this fun antique planes and, and uh, farm equipment. Some of the fruit trees back there. And you heard in the interview, he's there. He's going to have another uh, space out here that for taking all kinds of photo ops, and that will be fun to see. So apparently, they have got several turtles out here. Look at this. We got one, two, three, four, five. I see five, and then there's the one over here. I think this. I think this is an emu. Uh, I'm. I'm wondering if they've got. I'm pretty sure they must have food somewhere that I don't know if you pay quarters for. I have to find that out and feed them. Oh, he's really pretty. Oh, look at all this. There's another little turtle over there. So cool. Look at these goats. So there's all kinds of uh, little kids here. I think they're having a, a blast. And uh, some more turtles over there. Oh gosh, he's got he's probably got 20 turtles here. So we've got some more um, space out here to enjoy your snacks and your fruit shakes. Hi, Savannah. <laughs> okay, I th think that does it for our tour. I may come back on with one more clip, but thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know all this other stuff was out here and back, and it just makes this place even that more great. Um, so you got to stop at Robert is here. I will leave the address and a lot of other information in the description. So come check this out.